Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Well, guess what? I'm not cooking today because today we're learning Russian. Specifically, we're going to learn how to pronounce Russian food correctly. In Russian, of course. And I'm going to start with soups because Russians eat a lot of soups. Sometimes soup it's could be breakfast, could be lunch, could be dinner. <laughs> if you have soup, you have food for the whole entire day. And soups, guys, you will be surprised. We actually have the same word as in English. In English, they say soup. In Russian, we say soup. Soup. It's the same word, believe it or not. So we're going to start with soups. And the most popular Russian soup is borscht. That's how they pronounce it in English. It's borscht. So these three consonants, S, C, H, make one sound in Russian. And it's the letter SH. Yes, in Russian we have a lot of letters like SH, ZH, CH, ZH. And it sounds like we just shut down everybody. <laughs> That's probably what it is, because this letter at the end of this uh, soup name pronounced sh. So pretend you're trying to tell somebody to be quiet, and you tell them sh. That's exactly how it's pronounced. It's pronounced sh. So it's not borscht. It's borscht. Borsh. And borsh is uh, that red soup that everybody knows about, <laughs> but nobody wants to try it, unless you're Russian, of course. And it's practically a beet soup that's made with beets and um, cabbage and potatoes. And guys, it's extremely delicious. If you try it once, prepared by a Russian person, you're probably going to like it more than the one they sell to you in the jar, because don't buy this one. Just go to somebody who you know is Russian and have their grandmother prepare borscht for you, and you're just going to absolutely love it. To tell you a funny story, my dad always told my mom, Honey, I love you so much. But on the first place, I love borscht, and on the second place, I love you. And my mom was always laughing, and of course he was kidding. There is no way he can love borscht more than my mom, right? So the next dish, and it's also a soup, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce, is schi. They say schi. Once again, three consonants, S-C-H, make that one sound. In Russia, we have a specific letter for it, and it's the letter sh, sh, okay? So it's not sh, it's she, she. Almost like she, you know, she's a person, she's a girl, she, she, okay? And she is another cabbage soup. We guys eat a lot of cabbage in Russia. It's cabbage, beets, and potatoes, and meat occasionally. But it's another cabbage uh, soup that practically is going to look exactly the same like borscht, but it's not going to have beets in it. For somebody who doesn't like beets, might go for she. Okay? And the next soup, which is also very popular in Russia, and we actually, it's kind of interesting because we have a soup and a main dish with the same name. And it's salyanka. In English they say salyanka. And I actually have it on my channel, guys. I just posted recently. You guys can check it out. So in the form of soup, they don't use any cabbage there. It's just practically meat and um, uh, a tomato ba base stock. It's very, very good, guys. You can, you know, check the video out and maybe try making it. You're gonna love it. So, this is how you pronounce this dish correctly. It's not a salyanka. It's salyanka. We have this one letter. 
And guys, Russian alphabet is 32 letters. English alphabet is 26. We have lots of extra letters to play with, guys. So that's a sound and the letter Y. Yeah. As a matter of fact, in my name, in all three of my names, because every Russian would have like a full name, a short name, and a nickname. So you could think maybe it's like three different people. No, it's one person with three different names. That's what my name is. My full name is Anastasia, which I have this letter at the end of my name. It's Anastasia. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and my nickname that I use on my channel is Nastasia, Nastasia, and it's also going to have this letter Y yeah, at the end, so Nastasia. Okay, and my short name, very short name, is Nastya, Nastya, and it's also going to have this letter Y. Yeah. So the correct pronunciation of this dish would be not Salyanka. It would be Salyanka, Salyanka. And um, we're going to move on to our main dishes. And probably the most popular main dish in Russia is pilmeni. Yes, guys, it's those little dumplings that are filled with either meat or cabbage or potatoes. And they're extremely delicious. You can fry them, you can boil them and serve them with a sour cream or just like a vinegar and, and crushed black pepper. There are tons of cafeterias in Russia that only sell pelmenis. Okay? And in English it's pronounced pelmeni. Pelmeni. In Russian we have this letter. Once again, this letter that nobody has, and it's the letter that we call it soft letter, soft letter. It means when it's placed behind the consonant, the consonant becomes soft. So instead of pelmeni, we say pelmeni, pelmeni. So you make this letter L soft by placing the soft letter after the letter L. And it's not pronounced pelmeni. It's pronounced pelmeni. 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 Okay, guys? And of course, the next popular dish would be your blinis. And blinis is, it's like crepes. And it's like very thin pancakes and you could stuff them, you could roll them, you could put um, cheese, cottage cheese inside, you can put strawberries, you can put hazelnut. Um, it's very popular. We even have a holiday that's called Maslenitsa. It's one week before the Great Lent um, when you only eat blinis. You, you make blinis, you go to people, they make blinis, and everybody's just eating blinis all week long. And, uh, um, the correct pronunciation of this word is actually not blinis. It's blini. Blini. Once again, we have this letter and it's very difficult to pronounce. For people who are not Russian, sometimes I have problems pronouncing it. And for example, my daughter, she just can't get it. She can't just like make this sound. Um, and it's the letter U, U. So you kind of crunch your teeth together and then you try to push the sound E through it and it comes out sounding like U, U. Okay, like you're lifting something. Like if you lift something, it's like U, U. So that's the, that's the letter. So it's not blinis. It's blinli, blinli. So the stress in this word goes on the last syllable. It's not blinis, it's blinli. Blinli, we say blinli. Okay, guys, and I'm gonna move on to desserts. And probably the most famous dessert in Russia 
is a layer cake. It has this kind of like a um, very flaky dough and um, it's filled with custard. It's extremely delicious. And this dessert is French, I believe, but probably one of the most popular ones in Russia. And I believe we inherited from French because back in the old days, um, Russian aristocratic people would have French chefs working for them. So French chefs would make French desserts. And this dessert in English called Napoleon. Napoleon. In Russian, we say Napoleon. Napoleon. Sounds very French, right? Napoleon. Napoleon. And the next dish is actually not a dish. It's sort of like a luxury item you get in very expensive restaurants. And they charge you tons of money for just like a little piece of that. And it's caviar. Um, well, there is no word caviar in Russian language. Uh, and if you guys ever went to a Japanese restaurant and you ordered sushi uh, with a salmon roe on top, you will most likely see on the menu that right next to the word salmon roe, in parentheses, you're going to have a Japanese word, ikura. Ikura. So, guess what? Russians pronounce caviar ikra. Ikra. So, we have black ikra, we have red ikra, and everybody in Russia loves ikra. So, we love it. And the next word I want to teach you how to pronounce is vodka, guys. <laughs> yes, we get into the drinks here. And um, in English, they pronounce it vodka. In Russian, we pronounce it vodka. Vodka. Because there is a letter O in it, so you just have to emphasize that letter O. It's vodka kind of sounds very Russian, right? Kind of sounds scary. Do you want some vodka? Yes, please. And hey guys, do you want to learn how to say ice cream in Russian? Well, we say it мороженое. мороженое. Sounds kind of really sexy, right? Sounds like I just want to eat it right now. Is мороженое. So we have this letter Z, Z, Z. And it's like, you know, like a B. And it just flies and it's like Z, Z. So that's what this uh, letter sounds. It sounds like Z. So ice cream in Russian is Marozhne. Marozhne. Now I want to teach you how to say appetizer in Russian because Every single meal in Russia will start with the appetizer. We don't just go strictly to a main dish. We'll have to have some little snacks or some little munchies. And, and in Russia, it's usually um, just some kind of cold cuts and some pickled vegetables. And we have a specific name for all of this. In Russian, we say zakuska. 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 So when you go to a Russian restaurant and you want to order some appetizer, you can just ask them, bring me some zakuska, please. And they will definitely understand you. They will cover your table with all different dishes. And specifically designed for drinking vodka, probably. Not all Russians drink vodka, by the way. I don't. But, you know, it's just a... It's just a theory that all Russians drink vodka, guys, but especially ladies, we don't drink vodka, no. We drink wine, we drink champagne. And for desserts, we also have a very similar word. It's pronounced slightly different, but it's very similar. We say dessert. Dessert. In English, they say dessert. 
In Russian, we say dessert. Well, I certainly had fun making this video for you guys and teaching you a little bit of Russian words and a little bit of my heritage. And for sure, guys, if you go to a Russian restaurant, you can certainly order a traditional Russian food and pronounce it correctly and have them bring you this most amazing food that you might like. Actually, a Russian cuisine is quite amazing. And I do cook a lot of Russian on my channel, guys. Well, I hope you guys like this video. I certainly love making it for you. I, it was fun. And you learn a couple of Russian words, right? So you can sound like very Russian. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye to you in Russian. До свидания.